In our previous episode, I bought my first ever meme stocks, and I'm excited to check how they're doing. But first, I want to explore what happens when a company's stock becomes an investment meme. Sure, it can be thrilling to watch the daily or even minute-to-minute -minute moves of a rapidly traded meme stock, but those upward and downward swings have serious ramifications for the underlying company. And some companies have tried to turn that mania into real cash in the neighborhood of billions. Let's take a look at GameStop and AMC Entertainment. It's been almost a year since the rapid rise of GameStop. The surge made everyone from institutional to individual investors take another look at the largely forgotten retailer. GameStop shares are still up a staggering 831% this year, even though much of that frenzy has died down. With the price surging, it was logical to ask, when would GameStop sell more shares? After all, if investors are eager to pay top dollar for the stock, why wouldn't a company want to sell more and raise money in the process? But curiously, it took GameStop nearly three months to do what's called a secondary offering of stock. Mostly because as the stock was running up, the company was preparing to release its quarterly earnings, which were known to GameStop's management, but not yet to the general public. Since then, GameStop has raised equity twice, first in April, then in June, issuing a total of 8.5 million new shares for roughly $1.6 billion. The company said it would use the proceeds for general corporate purposes and maintaining a stable balance sheet. As of the close of the second quarter of 2021, GameStop is sitting on $1.7 billion in cash, more than double its cash position from a year ago. Investors are still waiting to hear what the company plans to do, and an eight-minute call with analysts with no time for questions was of no help. GameStop did not return a request for comment. I don't know. Now let's look at how GameStop differs from its meme stock sister, AMC Entertainment. First, one big distinction. GameStop was in decline before the pandemic as people had shifted their video game buying habits. AMC was a little different. Sure, a lot of us are watching more movies at home and COVID forced theaters to shut down for a while, but apparently there is still the allure of going into a theater to see a massive blockbuster. In other words, AMC's problems were considered temporary. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. AMC shares are up more than 1,500% this year, and the company seems to have embraced its meme status. It's raised roughly $1.2 billion since entering meme mania. The company said proceeds will be used for improving its balance sheet, maintaining flexibility, and to capitalize on attractive opportunities in the future. But even more than that, the theater chain appears to have relished its newly popular status with retail investors, allowing them to even pose questions during what would normally be stodgy earnings calls. Chief Executive Adam Aaron has also become a social media darling. Tweeting about AMC as well as other financial Twitter topics like cryptocurrencies. He's even granted interviews to YouTube stars, further endearing himself and AMC to retail investors. All told, Meme Mania has allowed these companies to raise more than a combined $3 billion, not to mention the growth in their stock prices. Some may scoff at meme trading, but there's real money at play. So now let's take a look at how my portfolio is doing. If you remember, I bought five shares each of Smile Direct Club and Cleveland Cliffs. I also got the free share from Robinhood of a Genesis. So it's been about three weeks since I started trading. Remember, I started with about $250, didn't trade all of it. I do have some still sitting in cash. And my portfolio right now is $269.35. Not a bad payday for not doing much work. Now, if you look closer at the portfolio, let's see what happened. So Smile Direct, that was a stock that was soaring on the day that I bought my shares. Shares were up almost double digits. Did I get in early? Doesn't look like it. Total return is negative 20.99%. Let's see how Cleveland Cliffs has helped me. Not a good day for them, but since I bought shares, it's up about 22.5%. And they posted positive earnings. A lot of people are buying into steel. Production is coming back up, so this is going to be huge for them. So overall, that's been the big winner for the portfolio. As for that free stock that I got, Shares are at $3.90. I got them at about $5, so that has not been a good performer for my portfolio. Always be careful of things that you get for free. 
Now, when I look at Wall Street beds, still a lot of talk about Smile Direct Club. And it could have to do with the price point. It's a $5 entry, kind of like what people saw with Hertz about a year ago. It's almost like a lottery ticket for some investors where they might want to take a chance on it. The focus on Cleveland Cliffs definitely seems to be tied a bit more to the economic reopening and some of the larger factors that play in the economy, such as inflation and higher commodity prices. People are paying a little bit more attention to it on the sense of its fundamentals. Of course, they don't mind the rapid price swings either. And over the last few weeks, I've gotten tons of notifications from Robinhood saying, you know, stock is up 5%, down 5%. Now I'm doing this project for work. My mentality is a little bit different, but with all of those alerts, if I were doing this on my own, I definitely would be excited to trade more often. See you next time when we'll take a closer look into how exactly options work.